Hello, my friends. It's time to announce our next exclusive die set. And I'm very excited about this one because it has to do with one of my flowers that I really, really love. It coordinates with our flower to doodle stamp set. Now, if you've seen the Sizzix version of my flower to doodle, you'll know that that stamp set and those dies are a little larger. So if you already have the flower to doodle stamp set, you will want this die set because it coordinates with this stamp set. Let me show to you. There are four dies. So we have a large shadow die, then we have a foam die, then we have a smaller die, and then we have a cute little circle die that cut out the centers if we'd like. Now let me show you a couple different things about these dies. These dies are special. They are made by Sizzix for me exclusively, these shapes. But you'll see that the cutting edge is on the very, very inside of this die. That means when I turn it over, I know exactly where I'm cutting. I don't have to worry about, ooh, am I too far over there or am I too far this way? Because that cutting edge is on the very inside. I know exactly where I'm going to cut. If I can see it, I will cut it. So let me show you how easy it is to do. What I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my Big Shot machine. Now, I get this question a lot. What kind of die cut machines can you use? You can use just about any machine on the market that uses the wafer thin dies. So especially the Big Shot, the Big Kick, and the Vagabond by Sizzix. Those are my favorites, I'll be honest. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I've already stamped my flower. What I'm going to do is I'm going to line up my die right around that and I like to use a little post-it note. Now some people use removable tape, you can use different things. I prefer a post-it note because it doesn't tear and sometimes I have to peel off the tape if I use the tape. So now I'm getting it perfectly exactly where I want it and I'm going to lay that post-it note over. Whoops, that one's not very sticky. Let's find a better one. That one must have been the back. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to line that right up and I'm going to lay that on top. So now when I move it, it's all going to move together. I'm going to lay my cutting pad on top. Now all of my tabs are closed and I'm going to run it through my machine. Now this, these dies will not work on the original Sizzix machine, the little red one where you push down the lever like that. It does not work. So you'll want to use a roller machine. Now I'm going to pop this out. Now not only is it perfectly cut out, but it's also perfectly stamped. Isn't that adorable? Now there's another piece on here. Let me show you that. That is our foam die. Now I get this question a lot too. Why is there foam on this die? The reason for that foam is because this is a double edge die. It has a blade on this side and a blade in here as well. So it needs the foam to eject that paper or that cardstock. So now this time I'm going to run it through without stamping. I'm just going to run it through the machine. And now I have my perfectly cut out flower. And I'm going to move this over just a little bit. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and stamp that. Now the nice thing about these is because the stamps are clear, you can see exactly where you're stamping. So not only can I see exactly where I'm cutting with the framelits, I can see exactly where I'm uh, stamping with the clear stamps. So it's the perfect combination. So the hardest part is lining this flower up because there are so many whooshes on here. So you just got to kind of turn it around a little bit until you find exact, oh, there it is. And once you find it, you go, oh, there it is. So now I'm going to line this up. I'm going to just keep watching and watching and watching. And I'm going to drop it right there. I'm going to stamp it and I'm using my secret weapon for the best stamping ever. And I'm going to peel this off. Oh, perfect. Ah! Perfect. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Now, if I want to, I can also use this shadow that I've already cut out and I can lay that right on top instead. And look at that. Perfectly stamped and cut out at the same time. Now, the smaller die also works with this flower right there. So there's another stamp just for that one as well. So make sure you check out these dies because they are fantastic. And now you never have to cut out another doodle flower. Thanks so much for joining me. And club members, don't forget, you do get club prices on these dies. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.